everybody, I'm Joey Evans, and today I'm here with Ice Cool Wizards. It's pretty funny how excited I was when there was a brand new Ice Cool game. Because I said, we've got Ice Cool 1 and 2, so when I heard there was a Wizards, I'm like, I gotta give it a try. Because Ice Cool is one of those, it's one of those, it's kind of tough to set up, it's uh, several things to bring out in the nest and all that, but then once you have it out, it's a lot of fun. It's one of those that's not just fun to play the game, but to fun to play with the actual penguins. But speaking of the game, um, this one plays a little bit different. So before I go into what I thought about it, let's see how it's played. Okay, we're set up for a game of Ice Cool Wizards right here. Here's a setup. There's only three boxes in this Ice Cool. And the way you're going to play this is it's all about victory points. The victory points you notice are here on the exams here. So three, 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 that one is worth nine, nine, nine. So you've got the exams over here and then you've also got lessons. These are the lessons you're going to learn to become the wizarding penguin you know you can be. And how do you do that? First off, you're going to have to collect the lessons to cash them in for the exam. So we'll start off here. You get two flicks. You're going to place the penguin right here. So I am going to get my starting flick here. So I'm going to flick. There we go. So I have entered each room. I've entered this room, so I get this in front of me. I've also entered this room, so I get this in front of me. Now, because I have this wand right here, I know that I can get that exam done. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to, if I'm too close to the wall, I can scoot out just like this. And then I will flick over here and try to hit that exam. There we go. So I've hit this exam card right here. So I may take this and then cash this in to get this exam face down. All right, and then I look around and I notice there's only one lesson card out, so I have to refill. I flip this over. This means it goes in a doorway, just like this. And then finally, this one actually goes in the doorway as well. I'm going to then refill this. And it is the next person's turn, and they're going to be placed here, and they get two flicks. Now, a couple of things, too. Like I mentioned, if you're ever too close to the wall, you get to come out. There's one more thing, and that is to trade knowledge. If you can ever hit the other penguin like this, this is the reason the lessons are face up. If he can ever hit me, then I have the option of trading knowledge. They can't refuse. You trade knowledge. If you have a certain card you want, you can trade those to get what you would like to have. So that's another way to do it as well. There's also one other option here with these lessons, these particular ones right here that actually go inside. Those can be used to trade in for exams or you could use them for their spell ability. Each one has a different ability. This one will give you an extra flick. This one can be a wild card, et cetera, et cetera. But if you use those, you have to then turn them face down and they're worth one victory point at the end and can't be traded in for a, an exam card. So you keep flipping your penguins until it's impossible to refill these exam cards right here. Then you're going to finish the round so everyone gets the equal number of turns. And the person with the most victory points from these or the lessons are worth one, but these are worth the amount it says on there. The person with the most victory points wins. And that's how you play Ice Cool Wizards. Okay, so that's pretty much just a quick overview of how it's played. First off, let's talk about the fact this is a smaller game, all right? So that itself is going to help a lot of people, the quick setup. Because the first Ice Cool is it's pretty large and it's not an extensive setup, but there's a lot to go out, a lot of nesting. You have to look and... Even I, I'm like, ah, what is this twist? This way, this way. This is pretty quick to bring out. Now, that is a huge advantage. Before we get into the gameplay, that is a big advantage. Mainly because Ice Cool, like I said, I enjoy this game. But there are many times that my daughter or her friends will want to play Ice Cool. And I'm like, ah, I don't want to really get it out. And the table space it takes up. I'm like, ah, so I'll kind of guide them towards something else. This one comes out very quick. And because of that, I'm thinking it would play more often. You know, we hit the table more often for us, but that depends on how it's played. Now, as far as the gameplay, it is different because the other one has that hall monitor running around. This one, you're collecting those lessons to finish those exams. Now, I do like that a lot. I like being able to grab those lesson cards, and then when you have those lesson cards in front of you, to try to find those exams. Now, you throw into that, that whole fact that you can exchange knowledge and trade with somebody if you hit another penguin. 
That I like because that, that ability is back in this. And the first one was the hall monitor, where one person was the hall monitor and they could, they could have that ability to bump into other people and all that. This one, I like the fact that everyone is that. Everyone is playing the exact same role. That's really good. It's all even playing field that you all can do that. And you all can bump and exchange knowledge. And that's really fun to see that in front of you and see something someone else has that hasn't dropped yet. It hasn't flopped out. So you're going to try to hit them and get that from them into your tableau so you can finish one of those exams. That is really, really enjoyable. On top of that, the spells. The spells themselves are fine. You know, I, I don't find myself using them that often because I do want to look for those, get those recipes for those exams. However, if I'm holding on to a spell for a while and nothing comes up that needs that, I will use that spell for the extra flick or something like that. So the spells I do enjoy. Now, the biggest thing about this is how much enjoyment you can get out of this. My daughter loves this game. And I will say that none of us are very good at flicking. If you ever want to depress yourself, that is to think you're really good at flicking these things and then to look online and see how these people can go from like room to room and through those hallways and things. That's they, some people out there that are really good. But it's really fun to flick these. One thing I will say that was a bit of a downside that you have to have some give and take is because it's a smaller board, it's less exciting to do those really, really cool flicks. You know, the ones that can go room to room to room and kind of weave around there. Because it's a smaller board, the doors are closer to each other and those turns have to be kind of tight to come through. But it works really well. I have a feeling this is going to hit the table a lot more than the original Ice Cool. Not because it's better, it's different enough and it comes out so quick. And my family had a blast with this. So if you like Ice Cool, check out Ice Cool Wizards. And if you haven't played Ice Cool before, this is actually probably a good place to start because this will get you flipping those penguins as you should. So, all right, that's Ice Cool Wizards. I'm Joy Evans. This has been the Dice Tower Review. Thanks, guys. Bye.